Hey, good start from Julio. Uh, able to get help guys, get you guys a win. What did you see from him, and uh, why was he able to be successful? Um, he didn't use his change a lot. I, I think it was just fastball. I thought the fastball was really good. Had life to it. Uh, got some uh, pop-ups, fly balls, uh, breaking ball, good. Um, I just thought he was kind of a good rhythm from the very beginning. Um, it was pretty uh, 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 stress-free, and um, you know, with the team that he's seen a lot, there's a lot of cat and mouse that has to go on. And tonight he was just making pitches. I thought Austin did a fantastic job. Um, you know, could have tried to sneak another one in, another inning, but he's going to see these guys again next week. So I just felt that you know where he was at was plenty, and uh, it was good to get Blake in there tonight. And uh, I thought the stuff was really good. And Craig, as well, hasn't pitched in four days, so to get him back in there. So uh, it, it, we couldn't have uh, worked out any better for us on the pitching side. What about Mookie? Ten home runs over the last month. He's been on fire in that regard. Uh, even got to play a little second just about Mookie's ability on both sides and how successful he was. He, he's just playing really good baseball. Um, I know he's just slugging a lot more uh, recently, and that's just a byproduct. He's just seen it so well. Um, it, it just seems like every at bat, He's finding a barrel and hitting the ball in the ballpark or taking a bit of bat. And uh, yeah, today was kind of the abbreviated off day to get him on the dirt. And I think he appreciated that. And, you know, Trey having an off day came out, got us on the board early. Uh, Freddie had a big night and uh, Justin's home run. So just up and down the lineup, I thought really good. Did you like what you saw from Vargas being able to play different positions and just move them all around? It was good, yeah. And, and that's kind of uh, what we, what we, uh, pride ourselves on as far as an organization having guys that are baseball players uh, that can move around the diamond and um, so it, it was good to see him I, I think just kind of move around take four bats I thought that was good as well um, so it would be a good night for Barton. When, when Mookie got here a couple of years ago you mentioned about how his power was making him something you weren't quite expecting um, for him to set a career high on first week of September what is he doing this year that part of his game that, that's kind of a lot you know I, I think that the first couple of years, I just don't think he was as healthy as he is now. Um, I, I think he's very healthy, knock on wood, and I think he's really having fun. I really do. I think that that kind of relationship that he and Freddie have is real, um, and he's just as comfortable as he's been all you know his time with us. And I think that's kind of leading to performance. But yeah, I mean, he's not very physical, but he's just such a good hitter that when you hit it hard consistently. This is what's happening. So I, I think he's as surprised as anyone. And Will became the next guy to hit 20 this year. Just for him to have hit as many home runs as he has, Mookie, what does that give in the lineup in a year when not you have a lot of guys hitting home runs, but, but nobody else doing it quite like he has? Well, I think if, if you would ask who's going to lead our team in homers this year, I don't think Mookie would have been many people's first choice. Um, but he's having a tremendous MVP type season. Um, and he can still get a hit, take a walk. Uh, controls the strike zone, and so those are all the ingredients that you want from an elite player. And for Will to hit 20 was a good thing. And uh, you know, I remember early on people were wondering where the power was at. So he was just taking good at bats, and he's just such a good ball player. And, and it's good to see he's having another great year. Yeah, you kind of touched on it there, but I encourage you was getting for trying. It, it was great. Um, I, I think he was just excited to kind of get that first one under his belt, being being down for so long and uh, to have it clean, uh, see some 98s, and to see some soft contact. So that's what he does. And uh, I think he was, he was really excited after it. David, yeah, I know you've talked about this before, but with Julio, how comfortable are you with him if he has to be the number one guy in October? Very, very. Um, you know, we're putting ourselves in a situation where um, we can set the rotation, but he's a top end guy. And yeah, he, he's, he's, every year he's gotten better and uh, earned that potential opportunity, yeah. How critical was that moment in the third inning when he gets Soto and Machado? Do you see him wanting that kind of matchup and kind of thriving on those? Um, yeah, I, I don't think he certainly he's not going to run from it. Um, so it was a it was a pivotal part of the game. There was some stress a little bit, and uh, uh, Soto kind of had the extended at bat. Uh, there was a bad walk in there before uh, I think to Azucar and our on one of those guys and. Um, to get that pop up was huge, and then to get the first pitch fly ball from Manny, that kind of set the game up, kept the momentum, 
a shutdown inning for us, and then we kind of took it from there offensively. Did you know the move for Pepe tomorrow yet? So uh, the move's going to be David Price. He's going to go on the IL. Uh, he's had a lot of kind of arm, elbow, wrist uh, things, and he's been grinding as much as he could for us. Um, there's been some stuff with the history of his uh, the workload and, and kind of what he's done. And um, so we've stayed away from obviously the last five days. Uh, so we got a picture, got a scan, and it's kind of what we thought. And so right now we're going to shut David down, we're going to retro and uh, you know, get him back to health. Uh, so Ryan, I said earlier he was going to start, we're going to open uh, Fergie, Caleb Ferguson tomorrow. So we'll open Fergie and then right after that, then Pepe will, will get in there. What is, what is what you thought, like inflammation? Or? Just, just there's a lot of inflammation. Uh, he hasn't been, you know, really healthy all year, um, but he's been grinding and, and trying to pick everybody up. Uh, so I just think we kind of came to a breaking point there in Miami. Elbow, forearm? It, it's more kind of, it's more wristy. It, it's more, it's more wristy actually, yeah. Something he can come back from? Yeah, yeah. I, I think that, you know, he'll be on the IL and he uh, hasn't thrown uh, for the last few days. Uh, so. You know, we'll see. Hopefully, we can kind of get that information out and get it back. Is, is that injury at all related to what he had in Boston before? Uh, you know what? I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Okay. Thanks. All right. Thanks, guys. Yeah.